Can I see? Sure. What did we lose? Probably stuff pertaining to... Uh, let's see. It looks like we lost a lot of evidence. Mm-hmm. Uh, we lost the blank photo? Yeah. We lost the camera. Uh, we lost the Gordy article. Yeah, because at this point, Gordy doesn't matter. And that might actually be it. Mm hmm So now it's really just the DL6 stuff. Polly. Edgeworth, I'm going to stare at your dead dad. All right, we're done. Uh, hey! Bots. Gun! Woohoo! Yeah, I was hot out there. Hot! Glad someone's happy about how this case is going. He seems too happy to care about anything I show him. Okay. Are you going to talk to Edgeworth? Edgy boy! You look as grim as always. <laughs> um, Mr. Edgeworth, I heard the story about the class trial. Class trial? What do you mean? You don't remember? No, I don't. Your lunch money was stolen, wasn't it? In third grade. Lunch money? Oh, oh right, yes, I seem to remember something like that. Nick, I think you're the only one who really remembers. Well, it probably only really mattered to me anyway. Mr. Edgeworth, didn't you know? That trial was the reason Nick became a defense attorney. Ridiculous. Gee, thanks. That said, it does sound like the kind of thing you do. You haven't changed a bit, have you, right? So simple. So faulty. Well, maybe, yeah, but... I think you changed too much, Edward Edgeworth. Uh, perhaps. Why pro prosecute? So, hey, Edgeworth, why do you become a prosecutor anyway? You used to look up to your dad. You said you wanted to be a defense attorney, right? I couldn't let myself deny reality like you. What do you mean? My father was taken from me, and you want me to defend criminals? I'm sorry, Wright, but I'm not that good of a person. One suspect was apprehended in your father's murder, right? Yes. The man trapped in the elevator with my father, his name was Yanni Yogi. He had to be the shooter any way you look at it. Yet he was found innocent. The defen that defense attorney got him off the hook. That would be Robert Hammond. On that day, 15 years ago, the three of us were trapped in the elevator for five hours. When we were rescued, we all suffered oxygen deprivation. I had lost all memory of the murder. Lost your memory? Even now, I can't recall what happened in that elevator. That was the crux of Yogi's, uh, Yogi's attorney's argument in court. He claimed Yanni Yogi had been not sound of mind due to the oxygen deprivation. Yogi was released due to a lack of evidence. Innocent. That's when I changed my mind. I started to hate defense attorneys. Prosecutor Von Karma. What's your relationship with Von Karma? He's my teacher and a man who deserves respect. I learned everything I know of courtroom techniques from him. So, he's like my sister was to you, Nick. He is a perfectionist in all things, in court, in his personal life. He is obsessed with doing everything perfectly. Perfectly, huh? In all the cases he, was ta he has taken on, none were left unsolved. Not one suspect was declared innocent, ever. But... but that's... I know. It's possible some of the suspects were indeed innocent. However, it is impossible for us to accurately determine that in every case. All Von Karma does is his job to find the suspect guilty perfectly. In any case, it's nigh well impossible to find a weakness in him. Should a weakness appear, he would do everything in his power to make it go away. Um, Edgeworth, what you're saying is true. You're headed for a guilty sentence tomorrow. Uh, he's right! Now's no time to praise the enemy, Mr. Edgeworth! Ugh. It's a strange situation in which I find myself, I'll admit. No kidding! Are you gonna show him evidence? 
Attorney's badge! Sorry, I'm not sure I can help you with that. No. How about the case file? Bambo! No, not, not the dead father! <laughs> Nick, Nick, no! But that's a photo of his father! Don't show him that! You're right. Now probably isn't a good time to dredge up those memories. What is it? Uh, no, nothing, nothing! Huh? More trauma! Well, well, let's see if he actually does reply, well, bleh, say anything about that. <sighs> it was that case that changed my life. And tomorrow, on December 28th, its statute of limitations runs out. Tomorrow, could that be a coincidence? But even if the ca case is finally closed on paper, it will never be erased from my memory. Never. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. Polly! <laughs> Polly will come in handy later. I think... No, I know Polly's a witness. Because it's in one of the screenshots. Are we carrying Polly around with us? <laughs> no. <laughs> what? That, that, that amuses me greatly of just Phoenix having just this sack of a gun, a bullet, a metal detector, several photographs, and a bird. Polly is just sitting on his shoulder. <laughs> I don't think we have anything else that we... Care. Should we talk with Gumshoe about yeah. if, if they've been able to apprehend the man? Grossberg. There's almost no, never anything here. He's out again. When does he work anyway? Now, now. Don't be harsh. I guess we'll have to come back later. I'm not sure if Gumshoe is ever there. All right, the police department criminal affairs. Oh, yep. Huh. We have to look at the lake. Looks like Detective Gumshoe hasn't come back yet. Gumshoe, he won't be coming back today. Oh, really? They said there was some guy he had to arrest by tomorrow. Boat shop caretaker. He shouted something about catching him if it's the last thing I do, pal. Good luck, Gumshoe. Yeah, let's try G Gord Lake. But he really wouldn't have... Hey, pal. Long time no see. Oh, Detective Gumshoe. Close one today, eh? I got so worked up, I snapped my tie in half. Uh, sorry about that? No problem, pal. Thanks to you, we now know who really did it. You mean the boat shop caretaker? Look, I'll make you a promise. I'll have that scoundrel in my custody by trial time tomorrow. Come what may. It's my duty to you as a police officer. Now, I'm off to catch me a criminal. I like that phrase, come what may. Come what may. Hmm. All right. Detective Gumshoe sure is active today. Oh, one other thing. A deek. No one can go into the woods today. The woods? Where Lotta was camping? The woods are off limits to camping, and apparently the park ranger found out. He got pretty mad, so no one can go in for a while. I guess Lotta's in a lot of trouble. Anyway, I'll be seeing you tomorrow. You know, weirdly enough, you'd think his voice would be the hardest on me, but it's actually one of the easiest. Because <laughs> it, uh, it clears me out, whereas all the other ones are, like, kind of painful. Oh, you see, anything I do that's gravelly ends up hurting me. Huh? The steel eyesore is missing. Eyesore! Looks like the hot, sto hot dog stand is closed, too. I guess Larry's too busy worrying about Mr. Edgeworth to show up for work. And we ate all his hot dogs. Well, Missile ate all the hot dogs. Eh, tomato, Missile. Trash cans are no trash. All right. This lake sure likes to cause problems, doesn't it? Huh? I mean, everything that happened here turned out to be a lie. Gordy was a lie, and the charges against Mr. Edgeworth were all lies. I guess you're right. I mean, I'm glad the charges are were all lies, but still. Guess Larry is today off. He was pretty happy about saving Mr. Edgeworth. True. 
We owe him big. No, we don't. No one's going to sit here on a cold day like today. Well, unless they were eating a samurai dog. How would that change the temperature, I wonder? Hmm? You seem troubled, Nick. No, who, me? Yeah, I'll have to go to the rental shop. That old caretaker got away. Yep. I never imagined that he might be the real murderer. Hmm. <gasps> Lotta? I don't know. Him? I, I know that clearing of the throat anywhere. Oh, oh Grossberg. Aha! Hello. Uh, what might you be doing? Out for a walk, hmm? Ah, the days of my youth, like the scent of a fresh lemon, you see. Mr. Grossberg, this is no time for idle reminiscing. Mr. Edgeworth's trial ends tomorrow. Yeah, yes, that is true. But from what I saw of today's trial, Edgeworth should be fine, right? Well, I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Well, I'm not sure. Huh? I'll find anything out. Come by my office at once. I may be able to offer you some assistance. I mean, he did have the original pictures and stuff and the files, so he was very well aware of the situation. Well, yeah. And he worked with Hammond. Yeah, Hammond worked for him. Mm-hmm. Thanks. Bye. What do you think Mr. Grossberg was doing here anyway? Who knows? Ollie! Hmm. Nobody's home. Hello! Hello! Ah! Hey, it's Polly! I wonder where your owner's gone, Polly. Hello! Hello! Ah! I can't believe he'd run off and leave this poor parrot to fend for herself. Hello! Hello! Ah! That reminds me, Nick. Polly here knows the number to the safe, right? Yeah, that's right. Polly, what's the number to the safe? One, two, two, eight. Ah! Let's open it, Nick. Come on. I'm sure there isn't any money in there. Aww. But hey, he keeps it locked, right? So there must be something of value in there. I'm not so sure. Okay, Nick. Let's see what's in there. I guess there might be a clue or two. The only thing in here is a letter. A letter? Aw, boring. Hmm. There's no name or signature on this thing. It's handwritten in very precise, clear letters. Get your revenge on Miles Edgeworth. Edgeworth? <gasps> Nick, why would Mr. Edgeworth's name be on there? How would I? How should I know? I'm going to read the whole thing. Get your revenge on Miles Edgeworth. Elsa says this is your last chance. Now's the time to get revenge on the two men who ruined your life. Two men? The rest of the letter goes on to describe the murder plot in detail. How to kill Robert Hammond and frame Edgeworth. Calling Edgeworth out to the lake. Getting on the boat, firing twice. This is exactly what I figured out today in court. It's all here in perfect detail. Hmm. Who would plan something so meticulously other than the Vaughn... Karma or something. Or, you know, the murderer who planned the whole thing. But, so the murderer convinced the boatman? The murderer is the boatman. Right, but then, but the letter was describing precisely what to do as though it was instructing someone else to do it. Do you see what I mean? Uh. It was a list of written instructions. Right? Yeah. And there was no signature, so and the letters were so neat. You know what I mean? I, it's to me it sounds like someone wrote the letter, gave it to the boat caretaker. The caretaker may have completed the plan, but he had instructions on how to do it in such a way I, that he wouldn't be caught. I don't think Von Karma is a murderer. And I don't think Von Karma would get involved in this sort of thing. 
No, you're right. He doesn't have Von a... Karma straight up adopted Edgeworth afterwards. He doesn't have a motive. Yeah, if Von Karma wanted to help this guy get revenge on Edgeworth, he would have just chucked child Edgeworth into the ocean. Because, like, straight up, Von Karma, I believe, is Edgeworth's adopted father. Like, adoptive father. In a way. Yeah. No, I Definitely mean, like, a mentor. Literally. You mean he really did take him I in? I believe so, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So, but who would? Who would want him to seek I, I think it's. I think it's one of the same. Because you know he's like sitting there doddering like an old man. It's There's all an no act. way a guy that it's all an act. Yeah, I mean he's got to be. I mean he well, bailed would, as soon as he gave his testimony. Why would he write testimony. his own plan down? Uh, plausible deniability. Mm. What do you think it means, Nick? I don't know, but it looks like these are instructions for that caretaker. Yeah. He, Mm -hmm. When he killed Robert Hammond and called out Edgeworth, he was following instructions. See? Instructions. Yeah, fair. But who could have written that letter? And what does he mean to get revenge on Miles Edgeworth? Look, I don't know, okay? But one thing's for certain. This letter is an amazing clue. Well, okay, hear me out. The only way that it could be Karma is if Karma thought that Edgeworth was going to overshadow him as the best prosecutor. Probably not. That doesn't seem right. No, but there's so many people who would that want vengeance. That would make no sense. No, it wouldn't. There's so many people who would want vengeance upon Edgeworth, though, because Edgeworth's put a lot of people in jail. That's fair. It could have been Grossberg. Grossberg. <laughs> but, but why would he want to kill his own friend slash understudy? Grossberg? Yeah. Oh, no, I'm just throwing things out. It's not <laughs> Grossberg. No, but there's a lot of people who would there, want Edgeworth There's dead. no way Grossberg could have gotten away with anything with um, Red White spying on him forever. Yeah, and everyone's commenting on how we want to blame Karma. Well... There's See, the so many is, times if, where it's an it's a and it's a blah, an opposing witness or even the prosecutor themselves that are suspect. True. It's just like if Von Karma was jealous of Edgeworth for becoming a better prosecutor than him, why would both of his children be prosecutors? Mm -hmm. Like, do you know how stupid that is? Like, no, no, no. If anything, if you'd I was you'd deeply want... insecure about my ability as a let's player, and my kids are like, I we're gonna be let's players too, and I'd be like, sure. And, but I'm like secretly like, no, don't do it. You're gonna fail. You're gonna, or alternatively, and they no, don't do it. You're gonna you. overshadow no, me, it, and I'm gonna. It's true. One would hope that parents would want like, their children to exceed. If, even if their I was that conniving, I would chuck my children into the ocean first. Wonder. Save myself the trouble later. <laughs> Look, I'm just imagining okay, a I'm man gonna... flying over the ocean and just booting children out of the planes. I, I'm gonna keep a mental note of this. What? <laughs> so when we have kids to not allow me to be in planes with openable doors with children, that's real freaking easy. <laughs> I'm terrified of planes. And yet you always want us to take them. I mean, they are a time saver, but very, very inefficient when it comes to fuel. And also, if someone's sick, like the last time, we get sick. Yeah. Okay, that's it. If if my children are, are threatening to overtake me, I just take them on infinite flight so they get sicker and sicker than me. Ha-ha! <laughs> Foolproof. <laughs> no! Wander! Stop that. Okay, get your revenge on Miles Edgeworth. This note details the murder and setup. Letter from the safe added to the investigation. Okay, let's see. Don't people usually put pictures of fish up on the wall to boast about them? Uh, yeah, I guess so. You mean pictures of the fish they caught, right? Right. But don't all the fish on the wall here look really puny to you? Well, you know what they say. You should have seen the one that got away. Except the one that got away from us was the caretaker. And we did see him. Why do I feel like we're having two different conversations here? <laughs> huh, everything's cold and looks like he didn't turn his heater on. Guess he hasn't been back since the trial. 
How's Polly doing? Doesn't look like he used his, this kitchen much. You're right. I guess the whole pasta restaurant thing was a lie. What? You thought he was telling the truth? Maybe I should take care of Polly, Nick. You probably shouldn't just kidnap her. The police know about her anyway. Oh. I'm sure they'll do something. Well, okay. Sorry, Polly. He says he, I can't take you. Right now the bird's gonna hate me. It's all your fault. I'm alone. Murder, Edgeworth. <laughs> what? What's wrong? Oh, uh, oh, oh. Uh, n never mind. What? Tell me. Just when I saw the TV, I remembered. They're showing a prin Pink Princess episode special this week. Uh, oh. See, that's why I didn't want to tell you. Okay, time to see the gross man. Uh, uh? I think you have to go to the right and cola offices. I think actually. Oh, you can present that to him too. Edgeworth, see this letter? Hmm? This came out of a safe in the shack where that boat rental caretaker lives. I see. Revenge on me. Who is that old guy anyway? I I don't know. Could he be an innocent defendant? You got declared guilty or something. Nice, right. But I don't remember that old man. Not at all. So, he was following... Oh! So maybe the old man isn't Yanni Yogi, but Yanni Yogi gave instructions to that old man. But yeah, wait, no. he's definitely Yanni Yogi. Mm. He's the right age. No, that's true. And the brain damage thing, unless that was all... Wait, I thought that was all an act, though. Probably. Hmm. So he was following this letter, then. Which means there was someone else behind it. Now is the time to get revenge on the two men who ruined your life. Two men, meaning myself and Robert Hammond. Hmm. It also says, this is your last chance. Uh, last chance? Wait, maybe... Maybe he's talking about the statute of limitations and the DL6 incident. Uh, wait. Wait, that old man. What? What is it? Do you know who he is? Yogi. Could he be Yogi? Yogi? The suspect in the DL6 incident. The one who was found innocent. Yanni Yogi was a court bailiff at the time. And we just happened to be in that elevator together 15 years ago. And the quake was incredibly strong. Before I knew it, everything was dark. We were there for so long it felt like forever. The air thinned, and the darkness closed in on us in that little box. We became unsettled. Yeah, that elevator had to have an immensely good seal. I don't know. I can't breathe! Quiet. I said quiet. You're not making this any easier. I want to get out! Help! Get us out! Don't shout. You'll just use up more oxygen. Ugh. That's all I remember. When I came to, I was in a hospital bed, staring up at the ceiling. In court, Yanni Yogi's mental condition was called into question. They claimed the oxygen deprivation and stress had caused temporary insanity. In the end, the claim passed the court, and Yogi was found innocent. Huh. But isn't that strange? This letter tells him to get... Revenge on Edgeworth? Why would he want to take revenge on you? Right? Yeah? There's something that's been troubling me the past few days. I... I didn't know whether or not I should tell you. You mean the nightmare? 
That's a nightmare I've had. A memory of a crime that I committed. A crime you committed? A memory of a murder. I think... I think the time has come to tell all. Nightmare! In the last 15 years, I've had the same dream almost every night. Ah. Oh. I wake up in fearful sweat every time. What kind of dream? It's a dream about my father's killing in the dark. Help! I can't breathe! Quiet. I said quiet. You're not making this any easier. I want to get out! Help! Get us out! Don't shout. You'll just use up more oxygen. I... I can't breathe! You... You're using up my air! Mm -hmm. What? Stop breathing my air! I'll... I'll stop you! Uh, what... What are you... Stop breathing my air! No... Father... He's attacking father. <gasps> then I see the pistol lying by my feet. I don't know if it was evidence from that day, in court, or the bailiffs. <gasps> in a daze, I pick up the pistol. Oh, did he throw the pistol? Get away! Get away from my father! Ugh. Or did he actually fire it to try to get them to part and... Uh... And with that scream, I wake. It's a bone-chilling scream. A scream that has rung in my ears for the past 15 years. Hmm. But... but... That's just a dream, right? Right? Uh, that thought is the only thing that's kept me sane for the past 15 years. What if I'm wrong? What if it's real? They say that sometimes people shut out memories in self-defense. Maybe it was I who killed my father. What? If you think about it that way, this letter makes sense. Get your revenge on Miles Edgeworth. Think about it, Yogi was really innocent. That's why he wanted revenge against me. Wait, Edgeworth, you, you mean... It was me. I was the true criminal of DL6. I shot my father. This is bad. What are we going to do, Nick? What can we do? I don't know. I don't think there's anything we can do, like it or not. If there's someone else who knows a lot about the DLC, DL6 incident, maybe. Mm. There is, Nick! There is someone else who knows about DL6. Time to talk to the grossest man. Gross man! Attorney at Gross. <laughs> Grossberg. Grossberg, Grossberg, Grossberg. Mr. Grossberg. Ah, Grossberg. Hello there. <laughs> What's wrong? You look troubled. No kidding. I can't believe you're not. I'm Grossberg. Uh, my, 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 my. Just calm down and tell me what's happened, hmm? Is... It's Mr. Edgeworth. He... He... <laughs> I'm just imagining, like, Grossberg just spritzes people with lemons. Mm -hmm. The smell of my youth. <laughs> right? You day youth! Spritz, 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 spritz. <laughs> oh, I feel so useful, Grossberg. <laughs> I see. So, Edgeworth dreamt he shot his own father. It, it's only a dream. Only a dream. Mm. I wonder. What? If that's the case, then why do you look so. you two look so troubled, hmm? W well. Also, consider this. Yogi quite certainly holds a deep grudge against Miles Edgeworth. So deep he'd want to frame him for murder. This leads me to surmise that Mr. Edgeworth's dream was not a dream, it was real. As you imagined. Miles Edgeworth threw the pistol to save his father. Oh, he threw the pistol. I knew it. The pistol fired, and the deed was done. Hmm. Huh. No! I d don't believe it. Yogi was suspected of murder, and his career as a bailiff was irrevocably wrecked. Thus, he sought revenge on Miles Edgeworth. This was his last chance, of course, with this statue of limitations, statute of limitation so close. 
What do you know about Edgeworth's father? Hmm. He was a defense attorney without peer. It sounds trite, but it's true. Well, he may have had one peer now that I think about it. Your mentor, Mia Fey. My sister. Gregory Edgeworth was very disapproving of Von Mr. Von Karma's techniques. That's no surprise. Von Karma is an extreme man. Forged testimonies and evidence are nothing to him. The result, he has a perfect win record in court. To beat him, Gregory Edgeworth tried to call attention to his methods. And? He lost. And died in despair, as it were. People are asking about the statue. It's actually a bear, probably holding a salmon. Yes. Because we've we've had it mentioned before. Yeah, it's, it's, a, a it's a bear with a fish. We almost stole it. Mm -hmm. I see. When Gregory Edgeworth was killed. The police called on a spirit medium. That was your mother, Misty Fay. Oh, this is the ghost. I am Gre Gregory Edgeworth. I have been killed. The one who shot me was the bailiff, Yanni Yogi. Yet, Yogi was found innocent. I mean, it could have been that he was lying to protect his son, or maybe he isn't misremembering it. I don't know. Who knows? That's when my mother left us. Everyone called her a fraud. That's right. Everyone thought she, she was, you see. Yet, now that I think about it, it seems that the one who lied was Gregory Edgeworth's ghost. Gregory Edgeworth must have known who shot him. I don't believe it. So you're saying he falsified his testimony? That Edgeworth's dad lied to protect his son? It's only a possibility, mind you. But a possibility nonetheless. Oh, so this is the letter. It does seem that Yogi was following this letter, and he killed Hammond. But why kill Robert Hammond? Hammond was a skilled defense attorney, but he defended clients not for their sake, but for his own. Huh? His own sake? He never trusted his clients, that one. The only thing he trusted was his own ability. But he got his client found innocent, so why should it matter? Actually, my dear, it's quite different. He won that innocent verdict for no one but himself. Yogi was a free man, but socially he was ruined. Huh? Oh, because of the insanity claim? You'll understand soon enough. Wait. What is it? This letter. I've seen this handwriting somewhere <gasps> before. A long time ago. Whose handwriting was this? Do you have any idea who wrote this? Ooh. I mean, it could be Von Karma. It could be Von Karma. It's very neat handwriting. Hmm. Could it be Manfred Von Karma? Von Karma? Why would he have something to do with this? Uh, well, I'm not sure. Hmm. Hmm. Von Karma. Von Karma. Wait. You're right, my boy. This is Von Karma's handwriting. I'm sure of it. Wait a minute. Was Von Karma prosecuting that trial and... That was the one thing he lost? Yeah, well... No, but this was 15 years ago, and he hasn't lost in 40 years, so that doesn't make sense. He hasn't lost in 40 years, but it was a ding on his record, nonetheless. M maybe? What What could it be? Unless... I... Uh, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Let's see. I used to see it all the time on court reports. What? But, but that means... The, the one who told Mr. Yogi to kill was... Correct. Manfred Von Karma himself. What does this mean, then? Why would Von Karma want to frame Edgeworth? Maybe you have to go back to the dialogue, yeah. If it truly was Von Karma who wrote this letter, then he would know the truth. He would know that Miles Edgeworth had accidentally killed his own father. Huh. He'll say as much tomorrow in court, I should think. He'll press the point until the court finds Miles Edgeworth guilty. Oh no. But, but, how could Von Karma know about Edgeworth's past like that? Even Mr. Edgeworth thought it was just a nightmare. Hmm, that I do not know. Yet, I do know that Von Karma is both persistent 
and a perfectionist. What if he was, if he did adopt him, would just, he be a creep just like listening outside oh the God. bedroom? Hmm, he's having another nightmare. What's just the evidence? Just adopted Edgeworth to gather evidence <laughs> for like 15 years to eventually get him framed for murder. Wow. I, uh... That's ridiculous. I doubt it. But yeah, it has to do with the perfectionism, probably. Mm -hmm. You may be seeking to satisfy a grudge against Gregory Edgeworth by hurting his son. What do you mean? It was 15 years ago. Von Karma met Gregory Edgeworth in court, and Von Karma did win. But he didn't make it through the trial unscarred. Oh, Gregory versus Manfred. What uh... happened to the trial between Edgeworth's dad and Von Karma? Von Karma got the guilty verdict he wanted. He won the trial, but Gregory Edgeworth accused Von Karma of faulty evidence. And though he lost the trial, Mr. Edgeworth's accusation stood. Faulty evidence? Uh, it was the only penalty. It was the only penalty Von Karma's ever received in his career as a prosecutor. Gregory Edgeworth dealt a blow to his perfect trial record. Wow! It must have been quite a shock for Von Karma. He took a vacation for several months after that, you see. A vacation? Yes, an unusual event for the man. It was the first and last vacation he's taken in his many years of prosecuting. Really? He doesn't take vacations? Like, go to the sea or, uh, to the mountains? Don't tell me he's never been to Europe. You have strange ideas about vacations, Maya. In any case, that was the only time he took a vacation from work. The funny thing is, with a name like Von Karma, you would have thought he would I think he had a practice in Europe, from actually. Europe. Yeah. Because I know Edgeworth practiced in Europe, I mm -hmm. think. I don't know. I believe the penalty upset him quite a lot. Odd. If he wanted to keep a perfect record so badly, why would he take such a long vacation? What do we do, Nick? Von Karma is going to bring up DL6. You can bet on it. What if Mr. Edgeworth pleads guilty to DL6? I won't let him. Um, yes, Mr. Wright. I hate to say this, but even accidental murder is murder, you know. I know that. I I just believe in Edgeworth's innocence. I can't believe he'd kill someone. But, but Nick! Mr. Edgeworth admits it himself. His father must have lied to protect him from beyond the grave. I don't care. I know he's not guilty. Uh, Mr. Wright, if you say so, I suppose I could go check again. Police files may hold something of interest. Mr. Grossberg, thank you. I can't promise anything. In fact, I think the chances of finding something are slim. I understand. The police materials, huh? Gregory Edgeworth, was gifted man, his death was truly a loss. I wonder what would have become of Von Karma were he alive. This incident took place 15 years ago tomorrow. So tomorrow we'll see the completion of not one, but two trials. All thanks to the statute of limitations, however. I'm afraid the damage the DL6 incident has done will never be erased. Ah, oh, quite sorry. It is safe, concerning. <laughs> Ah, she was a beautiful woman. I'm truly sorry about what I did. Huh? Sorry about what? Uh, I think I'll stay out of this one. Mm, what he did, huh? In any case, it's good that the one shooting isn't Miles. You bet it's good. I can't believe the fiendish planning. The fiendish planning that went into this murder. And we almost fell right into his trap. What a creep! There's hardly anyone here. Everyone must be out looking for the old guy, Yogi. Hm? Oh, it's you! I don't think Gumshoe will be coming back today. He's staying out late looking for someone. Sounds like Detective Gumshoe is pounding the pavement for real! Um, we were wondering if we could check out the records room again? Well, no, I can't have just anyone wandering around in there. But I guess Mr. Von Karma's in there now anyway. <gasps> you can go in as long as he's there. Von Karma? Yeah, 
He just arrived, actually. On Karma's in the records room. N Nick, let's hurry! Right, because he's probably going to be taking other evidence out of the DL6 file. Dusty as always. We were only here just yesterday. I'm sure they haven't had time to clean. What's wrong, Nick? Nothing. I was just noticing that he isn't here. Von Karma. Here are the files, collect files of collected case reports. There's quite a large volume of reports there. Wow, these are all case reports. Yeah, it's like a graveyard of police cases. I guess my sister's case report is in here too. Quietly gathering dust. But there is that drawer open. There, there are shelves stuffed with case files in the back of the room too. Forgotten cases rotting away for eternity. Nick, let's go we need and get out of here. All this dust is getting to me. It looks like there are files inside this glass case. This is so dusty, I can't see what's inside. Nick, it's locked. They must keep important case files in there. The open one. The cabinet is where they keep evidence for current cases. Some of the things are obviously murder weapons. Others are question marks. Most of it just looks like random junk. Nick, what do you think of this clothespin? What, uh, what do you think this clothespin is for? Don't touch that. It's evidence. Huh? One of the drawers here is open. Someone must have been looking for in it recently. The label says, Unsolved Cases, Evidence. Hmm. Unsolved Cases? Nick! The file for DL6! It's completely empty! B what What are you doing here? Ah! <laughs> ah! The Von Karma! You... How do you know my name? Huh? Have we met? But what are you saying? We see each other every day, don't we? We're Miles Edgeworth's defense team. Defense team? Ahem, I beg your pardon. You see, I rarely remember defense attorneys. I wonder if he's also just extremely nearsighted. Probably not. Well, I mean, he's so self-absorbed. It's true. I beg your pardon, you see, I rarely de remember defense attorneys. They're like bugs to me, needless things to be crushed. I can see how this guy was Edgeworth's mentor. Uh, um, Mr. Edgeworth is your student, right? Hmm. A romanticist who still can't shed that veneer of amateurism. Just like his father, always second rate. Mr. Von Karma. You had an axe to grind with Mr. Gregory Edgeworth, didn't you? Me, a grudge against a mere defense attorney. Why? Because he dealt a blow to your otherwise perfect trial record. Huh. So you did. But what I don't get is... Why did you take his son under your wing afterwards? The son of your most bitter rival. Hmm. That, my dear attorney, is none of your business. Tomorrow will be the last day of the trial. It has been a while since I've had a defense attorney last this long. Still, you will lose in the end. Miles Edgeworth will admit to his own guilt. His guilt of 15 years ago, you mean? Hmm. You're quite the researcher. If you've done your homework so well, then certainly you must understand. You know what Miles Edgeworth will tell the court tomorrow. We were right. So, Von Karma is going to bring up DL6 in court tomorrow. Isn't he just gonna take that from you? This game only has failure states in court, from what I know. Bambo? Mr. Von Karma, have a look at this. Hmm. This was you, wasn't it? You instructed Yanni Yogi to commit murder. Yanni Yogi. How many years has it been since I heard him called by that name? He's a fool. I told him to burn it after he read it. Yeah. So, so you admit it! You, you wrote Mr. Yogi this letter! Yes, my dear defense attorney. Uh, Thank you for taking the trouble to bring it to me. I know. You uh, saved me from a lot of needless hassle. What? N Nick! What is that thing? <gasps> a taser! A stun ah, gun for self defense, ah, usually. Ah! Indeed! 
600,000 volts will curse through your body like a dog touching an electric fence. 600,000? This is, this is why you never present your linchpin evidence to the person who... Why does this always happen? Because you did it. You did it with the last case, too, where you, you... I had to do it. Oh, don't worry. People don't usually die from it. Usually. No, give me the letter. No! No! Whoa, what are you? Nick, Nick, run! Ah! Uh, uh! Maya! Out of my way! Ah! We should have photocopied it before. That's what I was How thinking. How rad would that have been? Oh yeah, you you should have always photocopied your evidence and uh, then... He got us. Letter's gone, of course. And he took the DL6 evidence, all of it. Hey, but you did show it to Grossberg and to... Mm -hmm. So you could call him as a witness. Yep. Back to having no clues. Wait, Maya jumped first. Maya, is she okay? Ma Maya! The police didn't know. Also, this. yeah, there are there are always security cameras in these records rooms. This is dumb. Maya, uh, open your eyes. Uh, I want her to be haunted by the judge's ghost for the night. Watch Mia possess her in this moment. Maya. Uh, the letter. Did he take it? Huh? Oh yeah. Are are you okay? Uh, I. I couldn't stop him. I jumped as fast as I could, but one shot from that thing knocked me out cold. I'm useless. I'm no good as a lawyer or a medium. I can't even call my sister. Not even now, when we need her the most. I wish I hadn't woken up at all. Maya! Gah. Has to be some way I can help her. I better do something about her self-confidence first. Hmm? Maya, she's holding something. What is that? A bullet? DL6 incident. Evidence number seven. Taken from the heart of Gregory Edgeworth. I remember. Von Karma was holding this when Maya jumped on him. Ah, uh, so she snagged that from him. They're matching he... bullets. Mm-hmm. I'll prove it to you, Maya. You're most definitely not useless. I'll prove it to you in court tomorrow. To be continued. Well, it's 11.30. Yeah, it's the tease of the century. Well, not really. Oh, uh, like, because how long will this trial be? Do you just want to finish it? Um. Let me just skim a thing. Also, you had forgotten to uh, put up a thumbnail for the latest Phoenix yeah. episode. Yeah, yeah. The new YouTube layout is awkward. People are saying that it might be a long one. It's a long one. Because they're probably going to have to go through several hurdles. They're probably going to have to bring up the evidence. We're going to have to pr prove to Edgeworth that he wasn't the one that committed the crime because of this and such. And then Von Karma is going to be like, oh, but you... and then we're going to have to try to prove that Von Karma was the one that wrote the letter, but Von Karma's gonna be like, oh, no letter exists, and we can't necessarily bring up that he jumped us in the evidence room and everything. So that bullet that Maya was able to recover has to be significant. It looks long. Let's finish it tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Then maybe we switch over to Fell Seal or something. It's it's late. I'm losing my voice. I don't want to do. I don't. I don't want to put it further into jeopardy. Mm -hmm. And I am sweating buckets. We gotta set up Ray's heat for tomorrow. Yep. 